So why would you want to use these chain rail signals? So I'm going to start with putting signals um, along this intersection. I've got two trains going. One's going up, one's going left. And I'm going to make some nice tiny blocks that show which way the trains are going. So what I've done here, since two trains can't be in the same block at the same time, is I've made it so the train on the left here can go forward, or the train on the bottom here can go forward. Sorry, the train on the right can go to the left, or the train on the bottom can go up. The chain rail signal, though, has a good use here because there is a chance, say, if the blue train's going along and there's another train ahead, it may stop at this light and block the intersection. So the rule is, I'm going to look at this signal here. If the train can stop at the next signal, use a regular signal. If the train can't stop at the next sig signal, so your answer is no, use a chain signal. So how we'll apply that is my train's coming along. If I stop at the next signal, which is the one on the other side of the intersection, I'll block it. So the answer to my question is no, I can't stop at that next signal. I'm going to change it to a chain signal. Next one I'm going along, I've got the signal after the intersection. My question is, can we try and stop at the next signal? Uh, yes, it can. It'll fit between those. It's not going to block the intersection. So I leave it as a regular signal. If I'm coming from this right-hand side going left, I'll check all my signals. I'll put an extra one in here. I go, hey, can my train stop at the next signal? My answer is no. It'll block the intersection. So I put a chain signal. Hey, can my train stop the next signal? The answer is yes, it can. I leave it as a regular signal. So if I were to say drive along, we can test this. Oop. I would block the intersection. I don't want to stop here, so I'm going to keep going. And this buddy, same thing. You'll see he won't cross until it's safe to do so on the other side. Really quickly, I can show this again with an extra train. It's in manual mode, I just can't drive. This one's not manual mode, that's so helpful. So if I were to say, hey blue train, go forward. So you tell it to come to the end of the tracks. You can see it stops at the red light. And my train on the bottom can go through without a problem. Once this train's out of the way, my blue train can keep going. So that is how you apply it in a very basic scenario of two rails crossing each other.